Hi guys, so I'm here today with Joe Malone and we are looking at the arrangement that we've collaborated on and created together. So Joe, if you open the box and we can see what we've got. Look how beautiful this is. And the first thing that I really noticed, by the way, is the beautiful colour, but everything is in bud. Why is that? All our flowers arrive in bud because we work very closely with our growers. So they are incredibly fresh. So they arrive in and bud, looking last, great. Last for ages. Some of the, some of the flowers that are my most favourite um, yep. are Alstro. Great. We've got, those, we've got these beautiful, and what's so amazing about these flowers is it has so many buds, doesn't it? It has so many flowers on it. It it's does. So, incredible. so even that on its own looks beautiful. And these gorgeous, gorgeous roses. I mean, I just love roses. They're great in your shop, Joan. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> Turned into a flower shop. <laughs> I love the smell of lilies and I love the look of them. And I love the way they absolutely just open up and throw their, their scent. But these are a really special one, aren't they, Freddie? So these are called Oriental Pico Lilies. And how did you describe the scent earlier, Joe? You said they had a very... Uh... <laughs> it's, it, it doesn't sound very, very oriental, but it's like a smoked bacon hand smell. But I, I just love that it. it's very addictive. When you smell it, you know that that is a lily that's just throwing her voice. Yeah. And look, little beautiful pink tulips. I love it when they all come open and then you see the eye of the tulip as well. Yeah. It's such a beautiful... I remember working in the flower shop and I used to love tulip season. And to finish off, we've got this very beautiful Pittosporum. Do you know what I love about it though? I like the space between it. So yeah. Like when you, it's yeah. really beautiful. Now one thing that's very important to remember always is your flower care. So yeah. Over to you Joe. you're going to trim a diagonal inch off the end of these three, if you could. <laughs> I'm going to prepare a second pair these... for a long time, Freddie. All the same length, just okay. a little... Uh, there, yeah. there we go. So to begin with, Joe, if you'd like to put the roses in an even triangle around the edge of the vase. Well, that's nice for my OCD. Is that okay? Right. That is beautiful. Right, now onto the Alstroemeria. Face those on opposite sides of the vase, so sort so of facing each other, like leaning... That. Like that? Yeah, that's right. And then that guy fit. Beautiful. Perfect. So we're now actually for this one going to take our pittosporum foliage. And what we're going to do with this is fill the gaps left by the roses. I don't know if you make it so easy. This vase is great, by the way, isn't it? Because it's, it's holding them, but the, yeah. the top of it is gives you it sort gives of it sort of fans yes. out. Great job, Joe. Boy, this takes me back. And then finally, what we're going to do is we've got two lilies and and we're actually just going to plonk these kind of in the middle. It's starting to look quite good, isn't it? Yeah! Looks good! About to pan out a bit. And then what we're going to do is tuck the tulips around the edge of the vase, creating a nest. Okay. There she goes. There. You just shoosh it up a little bit, so... There we go. There we go. An arrangement that Joe and I have created together, and it looks absolutely fantastic. So from Joe Loves... And Freddie's Flowers, enjoy! enjoy.